What happened was I got thrown on my head the first round of the Olympic trials, and I broke my neck and I didn't know it, so I kept wrestling. My arms were numb, and, and my neck was in excruciating pain, and I wrestled through the semis and won, and then I had to go on to the finals and wrestle, and I won, I won there. So I won the first round of the Olympic trials with my neck broken. I went home the next day, and I went to my doctor, and he took an MRI of my neck. He said, you have four discs, or four broken vertebrae and two discs sticking directly in your spinal cord. He said, you can't wrestle anymore. You're done. And I was devastated, man. I, I, I didn't know what to do. I, I figured I better get a second opinion. So I, I went to another doctor, and he said basically the same thing, but he said, when is the next round of the trials? I said, six weeks. He said, you know what? I might be able to get you ready by then. I said, well, what's your plan? He said, well, we're gonna, we're not, you're not going to be able to train much. You're going to you're gonna have to let your neck rest and heal for the next six weeks, and it won't be completely healed, but it'll be healed enough that you can still go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a doctor travel with you, and this doctor is going to stick you with 12 shots of Novocaine in your neck five minutes before each one of your matches. <laughs> He said, therefore, you won't feel the pain. You'll forget your neck is broken, and you'll wrestle more freely. Uh, but, but he said, I'm warning you, an hour after your matches are over, you're going to be in excruciating pain from the abuse your neck takes during those matches. And he said, are you okay with this? And I said, yes, and it worked. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What a decision to make. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a choice. I mean, there was no guarantee I was going to make the Olympic team uh, in 2000 or 2004. This is my one time. This is my one shot.